Svetlana Demchenko, what uh, are we looking at here? This is your chess space 18, des uh, 18 desktop and uh, hey, there is some chaos. Now, I know as a matter of fact that you are actually the opposite of chaos. You are very, very clean. You're very organized in a lot of things. You still have, of course, your creativity, but uh, wh what is happening here, please? <laughs> Yeah, no, it's my chess base 18 is not very, very organized, but I mostly use it to make our lessons for Svetlana's smart moves, which is why most of these databases are actually just our lessons. <laughs> and the icons are just for things that are distinct. But uh, yeah, most of it, I'm using it for our lessons, for lessons with students, for mega database to prepare against opponents. So I would say the most common usage is, is actually preparing for my opponents, but mostly to find materials for our lessons. Okay, I understand. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And of course, you're not the only one. There's a lot of people who have it exactly like that. So if you want to look at, I don't know, white openings, how do you find them then? Yeah, so they're not exactly here. I do have some books um, as well that are opening books, but uh, usually for my own files, Well, I sometimes would look at my own, like, you know, course, if I'm actually want to play like the Dutch, I would go to my own like course theory yeah. and look there. But for many things, I, it's not on here, but I would just have a database with like openings white and, okay. and then it kind of has oh, all the openings wow. there because if okay. I did all that, it would be too much. Yeah on the desktop and the, this is the former way I used to do it. But nowadays I just combined it all into one uh, database and it's, it's all there. Can you scroll up one, one more time? Let me check out what uh, files and folders you have. You have Canada there, of course, the Canadian flag, Scandinavian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of your courses, of course, a lot of preparations. You took this very laptop to chess space when you were recording your courses anyway. And there's also power play, the King's Gambit by <laughs> Daniel yeah. King. Oh, cool. I can even show you, I think chess base 18 has this thing with like shop and you can go to your products and see what type of products you have. So Those are the ones that I had like downloaded. Nice. Okay, let's get back to the desktop. So let's take a quick look. I mean, I'm probably sure I know how your files are looking, but let's open something. Let's open, I don't know. Let's just open a board, maybe lesson 92 anti-bird F4. That was fun. <laughs> I remember that one though. <laughs> Glad you like it. Oh, look at that. So you have like a little... Uh, board there and yeah. this is this is your main color it's a gray background that is uh, yeah. uncommon did you yeah. change the colors on purpose or did you just go like it doesn't matter just whatever I I liked this color so I think I changed it to this one mm -hmm. yes yeah. that that is something new actually okay and I have annotations that you don't see during the lessons but I have like <laughs> little hashtag like figure out a good plan or <sighs> Uh, find a cool move so that's for me to know like at which point is a good moment to ask you now you have to tell me what is actually the function you use the most on chess base 18 um for every almost everybody it was different so i'm very curious what your favorite function is or what you're using the most often let's say it like that yeah um The most often I'm, I'm probably using um, like preparation wise, like looking up an opponent in like mega database. Yeah. And if specifically chess base 18, I think the coolest thing about it is the um, style report uh, that tells you like a person's style. For real. But I would say I mostly play opponents that I've already played before. So I kind of know their style. But, you know, if there's a lot of time before a game, I think it would be really cool to check their style which I, like that's like a distinct feature to chess base 18 that sure. wasn't the previous ones um but uh, but yeah i really like i think i use the mega database a lot to look up a game to look up you know a specific theme let's say i can even um maybe this the more the less typical feature maybe is to use like search on like any database you can search in a book let's say you can search in a mega um but let's say you're looking to train yourself on a specific 
theme and you can go and find, let's say, all the games with like an isolated deep on and then find them in any database you want or in any book you want that you have in a chess base format. So maybe I just, I'm just saying this one because I think this one is sort of less used than a than some other features. I'm curious about the style report. So you very recently had some Canadian tournaments. Did you just quickly go like, ah, oh, this is the style. So if you see like risk 200 or something, you know, like, okay, very aggressive, very risky, mm -hmm. and that's it. Or do you really go in depth? I would say um, for, let's say Cana for Canadian tournaments, I would already know the players a bit more, mm -hmm. but we did during that, uh, during some tournaments, like if I'm ever with friends, because some of them don't have just base 18 and they <laughs> were really curious about to look up their own styles. Oh. So I showed, I opened and I did like looked them up and show them That's sort of fun. their style. And then they're like, oh, like I actually agree and things like that. So that is that's, fun. Another fun use is that you can look up the styles of all of your friends and, and, and send it to them. Thank you so much for showing us your Chessbase 18 desktop. So thanks a lot, Svetlana.